Most everyone in Congress seems to support the Land and Water Conservation Fund, which is used for state, local, and federal park lands. But liking a program and funding it are two different things. Now Congress is being asked to put its money where its mouth is, as Heather Cumberlidge reports from our Washington Bureau. National parks attract millions of visitors a year, each of whom comes away with something different. Arizona resident Corey Harris says he came away with a new direction for his career. It was actually a national park here in Washington, D.C. That, um, that actually inspired me to switch careers. And Harris says the parks are particularly important to veterans like him. Having monuments and, uh, and national parks to go to gives those veterans that chance to feel like they're uh, a part of that home. That's why Harris joined others on Capitol Hill recently to push for guaranteed funding of the Land and Water Conservation Fund, which pays for state and federal parks. LWCF has been around for decades, but needed to be renewed every few years until the spring, when Congress voted to make the popular program permanent. Arizona Representative Raul Grijalva calls LWCF one of our country's most successful recreation and conservation programs, and it's critical that we take action to protect it for generations to come. Now the fight is on to make sure there's always funding for the program. A House bill would guarantee $900 million a year for the fund, and taxpayers don't have to worry about paying more since the LWCF has long been funded by offshore drilling royalties. When there is offshore drilling on federal waters, it is using up a resource that belongs to the American people. So it's appropriate to take a small amount of that and put it towards land conservation for lands that are treasured by and really important to the American people. The bill would also clarify how the money is to be spent. Since its creation, the fund has collected almost $41 billion, but Congress has only allocated about half of that. And Gardner says the money is urgently needed. The American public should not be shut off from the places that they own and that provide for so many opportunities for learning. And opportunities for so much more, Harris says. Symbolism matters, and there's nothing that's more symbolic than, than a national park. The bill is awaiting a House vote. But with 223 co-sponsors, it should have no problem winning passage. In Washington, Heather Cumberledge, Cronkite News.